hello everyone welcome to in five minutes in this video we are going to see the next type in beta function that is type 3 so in type 1 we have the integration limit from 0 to 1 and we have some term in type 2 we have integration from 0 to infinity and we have some term and in type 3 our limits of integration will be 0 to pi by 2 and here we will have some trigonometric function that is sine cos tan cosecant so in that case if we have integration of 0 to pi by 2 sine raised to mx into cos raised to nx into dx then this will be equal to half beta of m plus 1 upon 2 comma n plus 1 upon 2 so we have to make our this given equation in this format so that we can apply the property of beta that is half beta of m plus 1 upon 2 comma n plus 1 upon 2 this will be more clear when we see the problem on this so we will see the first question we have to show that this integration is equal to this term so if you see here we have integration from 0 to pi by 2 so this integration is of the form 0 to pi by 2 sine the whole risk to m into x into cos nx dx is equal to half beta of m plus 1 upon 2 comma n plus 1 upon 2 so we have to make this term equal to sine and cos so what we are going to do so we have i equal to integration of pi by 2 tan x the whole raise to n so we know that tan is nothing but ratio of sine and cos so we will get sine x upon cos x the whole raise to n into dx so this term will become integration of 0 to pi by 2 sine x the whole raise to n upon cos x the whole raise to n into dx now we have sine x the whole raise to n in the numerator so this term is matching but we want cos term in the numerator we don't want the cos term in the denominator so we take this cos term in the numerator then we get integration of 0 to pi by 2 sine x the whole raised to n when we take the cos term in the numerator we will get cos x the whole raised to minus n into dx so now if you compare these two equations these two equations are similar then this will be half of beta of m in our case m is equal to n so n plus 1 upon 2 comma n is nothing but power of cos in our case power of cos is minus n so minus n plus 1 upon 2 so this is our new equation 